everyone. Hey, everyone. Hope you're well. I wanted to talk about the, in case you've missed it, the LinkedIn Global Talent Trends 2022 survey. Uh, I thought it was really interesting because we've been talking about culture for for what seems like since the since the pandemic started and, and before, right? There's been so many iterations of culture over the years as things have changed. And I've been speaking about it loads. And I think it's, it's an interesting survey. They, they said they spoke to global HR leaders, polled a bunch of people. They don't say who they are. Um, but they, you know, they get some really, really good data. It's beautiful. It confirms a lot of the stuff that we've been speaking about. Um, and for me, and I've said this before, culture is really about spreading kindness, you know, for people leading organizations, really caring about how their people are feeling, thinking, how they are, how their experiences, and having having the self-awareness um, to care about the people that work with them. I think it's great. You know, when you start a new job and loads of people have started new jobs recently on my LinkedIn feed, it's crazy. It's like, congratulations, congratulations, start a new job, all of that stuff. Has your new boss plonked down a stack of like to-do list stuff or did they send you a beautiful gift and you know some flowers or something really nice and kind i think that's that's really interesting um and so these last couple of years it's felt like employers have really had an opportunity to rethink and reimagine like what working experience is like uh, you know there's no one size fits all i think that's really clear now and it's so important to think about as an employer, what your employees' work experience is like, you know, vital. And it's so important for attracting, retaining staff. And I'll go into some of these stats actually on, on the LinkedIn report, which is super interesting, which confirms a lot of the stuff, personalizing the experience and all of that. And then for us, the individual, the person that's working, it's been really fascinating. More and more people are thinking about their well-being, thinking about their work and their life and how it's integrated. And I think it's it's fascinating. The three things, I'm make sure I get this right. The three key things um, that the LinkedIn Talent Survey explored, which I thought was interesting, was flexibility, well-being, and then this great reshuffle. Um, and from all of the results and stuff, it's really interesting how this has evolved and uh, and it's been it's been cool on flexibility according to linkedin when employees are satisfied with their company's time and location flexibility they're 2.6 times more likely to report being happy happiness is key 2.1 times more likely to recommend working in working for the company which is great right and again i mean with all of that you'll keep people you'll attract people better and i think this great resignation is a resignation from companies with bad cultures from bad bosses that don't care about their team. And I, and I think this is really playing out now, which is interesting. And flexibility, again, according to LinkedIn, is becoming a key value proposition for employers. And they, they gave some stats, and this was between 2019 uh, compared to 2021. 83% increase in job posts mentioning flexibility. Maybe that's just marketing from, from companies, let's see. 343% more mentions of flexibility in company posts. So it's clear companies are cottoning on to the fact that you've got to mention flexibility in your job posts, in your communication, to have the best chance of attack attracting the best people. And that's clear. 35% engagements when a company post mentions flexibility. So, you know, employers are clearly catching on that to attract people, you have to communicate about flexibility and and you know i mean just listening and reading all of the posts on linkedin and all the comments everyone's talking about the importance of flexibility for themselves and so companies are listening and they're responding which i think is really cool let's hope that actually translates into the work experience as well number two is good is well-being um and it's, it's it's interesting that a lot of people are really wanting to have a more holistic view of how they work if you're working at home, if you're in a fully remote company, you're sitting at your desk all day. You know, a lot of the time, and, and certainly for me, I love getting out. I love walking. But if I'm at home, sometimes I just don't. You know, you just sometimes you work harder, longer. Uh, you're out less. The beautiful thing about commute, and a lot of people say, "Hey, you will get you get all of this commuting one this commuting time back." But the commuting time is a wonderful time to like move and do exercise. So. 
you know, you've got to make sure that you're doing that. Maybe a bit of morning yoga, uh, a fake commute if you're working at home, and and just thinking about your health and your well-being. Because if you're happy and you're healthy, you're going to be much more productive, and it's it's a no-brainer. Um, the stats that LinkedIn um, produced from their reports: if employers fe- employees feel cared for at work, they're three point two percent more likely to be happy at work, and three point seven times more likely to recommend the company. Um, not too surprising. You know, happy employees, healthy, happy employees make better employees. And if people are happy, they're going to recommend the company to their mates. And, and, and the whole experience for candidates is they're going through an interview process and various people interviewing them is going to be much better. Um, content clearly is mirroring what people are talking about. Because there's so, again, so many posts about people talking about well-being. Burnout is a big thing. You know, there's a whole raft of stuff on LinkedIn that's talking about the importance of well-being. Um, and clearly content has mirrored that. Um, or empl- company content is mirroring that. Um, and again, you've seen a 73% increase from 2019 about company posts talking about well-being, um, 147% increase in the share of job posts mentioning well-being. You know, it's it's really confirming what we know. And, and again, companies are starting to talk about it. And I really hope that that is translating into what it's actually like to work in these companies. They're using it for marketing and for attracting people. Let's hope it's actually following through because if they don't, then people will, people are super happy to move. Um, and this moves into their, their third thing, the great reshuffle. Um, and employees are saying, what can do, what can, we can do better, companies can too. And so, and so people now are expecting empl- much more from their employers. And you saw, they talk about the great reshuffle. People talk about the great resignation, the great rehire, whatever it is. But people now, well, people will move. If they're not happy, if they're not happy with how they're being treated, the environment, they're voting with, they're voting with their feet. And again, I think it's this great resignation, this great reshuffle. There's a reshuffle and resignation from environments where people and not happy. Of course, economic play, economics plays a big part, and there are a lot of jobs around, depending on the sector you're in. But companies need to work harder, and, and they need to get this right. Um, the, stat, the stats that LinkedIn, have, 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 which are really interesting, job shopping is on the rise. Two times increase in job posts views per application in 2021 compared to 2019, which confirms this. And then candidates are more engaged when companies talk about culture. 67% engagement boost when posts mention culture. And that also mirrors my um, my conversations with people. You know, I speak to loads of people every day and um, money's not top, you know, it's, it's culture. Uh, and people want to work in a really great environment where they're valued, where they can, you know, where they listen to, you know, where people are saying, you know, how, how do you work best? Uh, how can I structure your working experience? So, you know, that, that's they're the things you need to do now. And if you're talking about it on LinkedIn as a company, awesome. Make sure you're doing it and make sure the experience is great. Um, so I think really fascinating. You can find the LinkedIn talent survey or clearly on LinkedIn. There's a short summary. There's a longer version. But I think it's some, some really interesting stuff. Hope that's helpful. Don't forget to sign up on my channels, YouTube, Bentley Lewis, or Don't Take Out Your Phone. And you can do Spotify at The Recruitment Show. Hope that's really helpful. Have a wonderful day.